What's going on, everyone? Welcome to another Screen Sanctum Reaction. I'm Steve. Today, I'm going to react to Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Season 1, Episode 3, Raph Thinks It Through, Episode 1, Followed Leo, Episode 2, Followed Michelangelo. So now, Episode 3, we'll see how Raphael handles the Mechazoids in his neck of the woods and, and see after this episode and next episode when they finally come together as brothers and then have to take on the Mechazoids as a team. So let's get into this right now. But before I do, if you want to see this full uncut reaction and all my uncut reactions, head over to my Patreon. I got something for everyone and I also have a free tier. All right. Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, episode three in three, two, one, go. Did you know there's a new street gang in town? What? Where? I need new butts to kick. <laughs> yeah, sure, Mikey. Next time I'm in a fight, I'll just tell jokes. <laughs> they just want to go to the party. Raph, you're a turtle. You should be able to swim. <gasps> yeah, he threw up a little turtle. That's messed up, man. I'm gonna lose it if that little turtle coughs up an even smaller turtle. <laughs> like Russian dolls. Oh. oh, wait. So he was fighting the Mechazoid, and this is the end of that? We're not gonna actually get to see it? <laughs> he threw up a turtle too. <laughs> <laughs> Nerdy Donatello. Oh, idea. Let's just talk to them and try and be nice. He's like the Hulk. What the? Damn. Oh, that's because it's like they're remembering what happened. I was gonna say, there's no way that you're about to wish I wasn't you. Did you tie me up with an extension cord? <laughs> Told you that That's a about idea. it. Mutants are super strong, and they can breathe fire. Before I crack your skulls or after. I'm gonna do both. I've got a lot of anger to work out. <laughs> <laughs> Rap just wants I'm to fight sure somebody. A, a few broken ribs. What is that? A brick? Yeah, oh looks no! Like a brick, all right. Damn, Raph. What the heck is Are they going to try to eat him? Well, who's going to protect you? That sounds like a big uh, chicken. What the heck? Oh. oh, come on. Seriously? Chains? Damn. It's not okay to make fun of someone because of their size. What's with you? What is this place, huh? That is true. Your little street gang just chicken farming on the side? We're literally in a warehouse full of criminals. The noise scares the chickens. No one cares about the chickens, honey. <laughs> Sounds like um, Aaron Paul. All right, talk time's over. It's time to crack some eggs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he got it. Oh. Uh, I mean your heads. <laughs> That's not funny. Is Rap psychotic in this? Uh. Oh, again. Oh my god, Rav, what is up with you, man? But no one's gonna respect you if you don't toughen up. So brick up already. <laughs> He's the strongest job, and he has the most empathy. Uh one thing we'll be looking for you, that's for sure. I'm gonna get out of these chains and I'm gonna ah! And what are you gonna do, hey, Rav? Hey, get knocked out again? Sorry. Uh oh. Not again. Okay. Oh my god. If I throw up, I hope some of it gets on you. That's gross. Sorry Just a burp. Violence. How are you in a position of authority here? I, I it baffles me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> He's not going to hurt you. He Megazoid. will, though. What's a Megazoid? I'm trying to help you, hun. That thing's gonna come in here and tear us up. I love that his name Throw is Hun. Too. Do you know how mad Kitsune would be? 
Chickens, really? man. This is your big boss, the one you're all afraid of. Look, I'm gonna get out of these chains and kick the living snot out of all of you, starting with you, lady. <laughs> and you haven't done this already because your legs are free, Raph. You could probably just kick her in the face. Oh, but cut off one of his fingers, please. There's a pharmaceutical company that was asking for samples. Jesus. How much of a finger do you really need? I mean, I, I only have three. Maybe uh, we can compromise with a little milking? Why'd the chicken cross the road? What? Oh, so I God. can eat it. <laughs> what day of the week are chickens afraid of? Don't see Friday. Friday! <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking my brother's advice, and I'm buying time. For what? The Mechazoid. Let's go, Chainsaw Man. That terrifying. Ro oh no, now the machine got a freaking chainsaw. Oh. All right. You're going to be able to fight with those crack ribs? Uh-oh. Oh, shh. I can't let you leave. Leave? I'm trying to save you guys. Kitsune said Oh, she's got size too. Did she take his? Jesus Christ. Ooh. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> These things don't die. It's a chicken fucker to the rescue. Are we doing this? No. Way to put your name on the Five. evil robots. See you on the other side of the road, which I'm about Probably to Probably be better if you told Kasune the turtle. truth. Be free, my friends. Don't talk to strangers <laughs> and stay away from dogs. That was good. Oh, no. You forgot to teach One to got ran boys. over. Oh, Raph, you oh, crazy God. son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this was, out of the first three, the most interesting and intriguing to me because it involved a third party. I mean, the last one kind of did. It was just a person. But this one was interesting because the first two just follow them fighting the robot defeating it at the end and then the robot fixing itself. But this one was kind of interesting because Raph had a way worse time than the, the Michelangelo and Leonardo. So we pick up with the original fight. And this is why I said like, oh, you, you don't know how to swim. You're a turtle. Well, he wasn't just swimming. He was badly beaten because he had already fought the Mechazoid and defeat, well, defeated it in the beginning of the episode, which is why he was able to be captured by the purple dragons. Cause he couldn't really move to be honest. Like he was really beat up. His ribs were probably fractured. So it was, it was really easy for them to capture him. So it was nice that he kind of had to go, well, not nice in the sense of the episode. It was nice that he kind of had to go through two things or maybe even three things to get out of it alive. He had a, Defeat the Megazoid off camera, which we saw. He basically demolished it, but he took an ass whooping himself. Then he gets caught. He's got to break out and fight the purple dragons, obviously. But it all happens because the Megazoid fixed itself and then, you know, hopped in there and started 
wreaking havoc on the Purple Dragons, which I actually thought in this episode it would do that, but I thought it was going to really incapacitate them and they were just going to be out of the picture at the end. I thought it was going to be more like the Megazoid hops in, knocks out the Purple Dragons, incapacitates them, and then goes to fight Raphael. Like I, I thought it was going to be more of the lines before it happened that the Megazoid would save Raph to fight Raph fairly and then get its ass whooped. But we saw that the Megazoid doesn't care about a fair fight because it was ready to decapitate Raph. Luckily, he was able to spin. So his shell was facing the chainsaw and he was able to get out and fight. It was pretty cool. Like that was, Raph went through some stuff in this episode. I think he went through more than Leo and Mikey did for sure. So we'll see next week what Donnie has to go through. But this one was crazy. I think maybe they did it because... Raphael is the tough guy like he's the one who always wants to fight as they've established in the first episode that they keep replaying the first part in the beginning of the first three episodes where he just keeps saying like I'm just going to fight through it so they put him in a position where fighting through it didn't work and you saw he had to use what Mikey was saying make some jokes and then you know that kind of helped him at the end so it's a really good episode I feel <laughs> I feel bad for him, man. He got his butt kicked multiple times and he's going to have to fight with his brothers like really messed up. I don't know how he's going to fight with those ribs. He'll figure it out. He's a strong dude. Next episode is the Donnie episode. And from there, it'll probably be a lot more story based. Like this was really interesting to me. I like how they did the first four episodes will be the perspective of each brother. But now I just can't wait for them to reunite and start kicking butt as a team because we're watching Ninja Turtles because we want to see the Ninja Turtles together. But also it's called Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So the first four episodes, they are kind of telling us the tale of them and what happens after it. So I can't wait. What do you think of this episode? What do you think of my reaction and my thoughts? I'll see you all in the next video. Peace, guys.